<laughs> hey there, this is Amir Syed with your Mortgage Minute. This topic I'm a big fan of because it's all about getting your offer accepted and some of the things to keep in mind uh, in order to increase your chances of having your offer accepted. So uh, the real estate market right now, it's 2015, it's kind of a crazy time here, especially locally sh in Chicago, uh, as I'm sure it is in all parts of the country, but a good property in a good neighborhood that's well-priced can see multiple offers. So here are some things to keep in mind that it might uh, allow you to elevate your chances. Number one, cash is king, right? So it doesn't uh, mean you're gonna be using me anymore, but uh, cash obviously, means there's no contingencies typically for financing. So that's very important. So if you have the ability to do that, uh, definitely consider that. Secondly, um, escalating your price, increasing your price uh, um, um, offer. Of course, that's very important, but you don't wanna pay much more than what the actual home could get appraised for. So talk to your real estate agent in regards to that. Make sure you have the right price uh, lined up. Um, tightening up your timelines. Sometimes a, a seller may want to close a lot quicker. So if you're able to do that, that can obviously bring you right to the top as opposed to let's say a standard 45 day closing. If you can close in 25 days, that might help out big time. Um, the other thing is removing some of your contingencies. Really, really risky. Uh, definitely something you should think through before you make that decision. Waiving your ins home inspection um, contingency, waiving your appraisal contingency, waiving your mortgage contingencies. But those are just other um, you know, details that you may want to uh, eliminate from the contract that can elevate your, your ability to purchase. Uh, sometimes when those help out is when uh, a seller knows that the property may not appraise out just because it could be what's called a white elephant. There's not any other properties that are similar to it. And if you're getting financing, they say, look, this home might appraise for $100,000 less than what we're asking, but we know it's worth that. You know it's worth that. We just can't show it from an appraisal standpoint. You have to be able to bridge that difference if this comes in short. So you have to waive your appraisal contingency. That's an example. Other thing is um, find out what's important for the seller. Some sellers have you know, occupied their home for years and years and years. It might be a home that was in their you know, in, in, in their family lineage, like their grandparents had, their parents had, they had it. They may not want to sell a home to someone that's going to completely remodel the house or knock down the house. So if those things are things that you hear, you may want to offer them and say, look, we're not going to touch this house. We like it as is. And lastly, I would say is write a letter to the seller. I've seen this work a few times. It's a really cool way of showing the seller is like, hey, please give us the opportunity. We know you have a lot of offers. This is a home that we're looking for our family. It's basically a letter from the heart. Type it out, handwrite it, talking about how you really want this home. You might actually win out in a situation like that, okay? Follow some of these steps. As always, consult with a good real estate agent and reach out to me if you have any questions, okay? Talk to you soon.